Hey kids, Jason here on Total Toys TV. More Minecraft toy reviews this time from Lego. So we have two Lego packs and they're calling them skin packs. And we're gonna be looking at all eight, yes, all eight minifigures that we get in each pack. Well, not each pack. We get four in each pack, but I've got eight because they make two packs, two skin packs for a total of eight. And uh, these are a lot of fun. There's also a little buildable item that we'll show you there at the bottom. And um, each of them is pretty unique in its look. So I'm gonna open these up, give you a nice look at each. All right, so here we go, jumping in to the first pack. First off, some of the accessories you get, the buildable. There's not a lot to build here, but the stuff we do get, and I didn't build that apple because, well, it's just one piece, but we do get the little apple there. Then in the middle, you see a little TNT block, which is cool, and then right here, and yes, your minifigures, of course, can hold this in their hand. Whoops, I, I just hit that one. Let's fix you, there you go. We get the redstone torch. So that other one is a redstone torch. And real quickly, just to show you, yes, you both the torch and the apple can be held in your minifigure's hand. So here is our first figure, looking just quickly at each one. Red pants, blue shirt, even has, I think that's meat on the shirt. A little blue highlighting on the bottom of the shoes there, on the feet. And overall, it kind of reminds me of Superman, like he's dressed, like he's a Superman fan, he's dressed in Superman stuff. Except there's no S on the chest, it's a big piece of meat. But uh, that's just what... It, comes to my mind. I know it's not supposed to be Superman. And uh, then we come with, he comes with one accessory and that is a wooden shovel. Then on to our next one. This one probably is going to be one of your favorites. This is a person dressed up in like a creeper outfit. So accessory is the wooden bow and arrow. Has uh, that creeper coloring. Not fully, obviously. This is not a creeper. Uh, then some brown sleeves, a lot of black, green, and brown highlighting. On to our third figure. He has the diamond sword, which is really, really fun. And it is a knight. So this one is definitely, obviously, a knight that we get. And uh, you can see even on the chest there, you can kind of see the outline of a cross there on the chest. And uh, a helmet over his head. And so this one's really fun. And then the black is the main color on the torso and legs. Then here is our fourth and final comes with the iron axe and lighter brown or blue rather pants, dark blue, like jacket covering a gray shirt and uh, no helmet, nothing on the head, just regular hair and face. And last of all, just so you are aware, no printing on the back of any of these. The color runs throughout the color of, of the torso and leg, but there is no actual printing. So there is a final look at all four. Which one is your favorite? And if I had to pick one, I would probably go with the one in the Creeper costume. And now we look at our next pack that we get here. Another four figures and some really fun ones in this pack as well. Now before we get into the extra figures, just want to show you the accessories. We get a furnace, a carrot there in the middle, and a torch. Of course, the carrot and torch you can put in your minifigure's hands. And uh, getting the furnace uh, just adds another little fun accessory like we got with the TNT to the pack. So now we head in, look at each figure quickly. This one here is really fun because it looks like an astronaut. So it looks like he's in a spacesuit. But yet, then he has the diamond pickaxe, so maybe he's harvesting on the moon. I don't know. I don't think he can actually do that yet on Minecraft. But there you go. That is our astronaut. Then our next one comes with a wooden shovel, and this is a fan favorite uh, because who do you think that looks like? Well, it looks like Han Solo, right? Now, it is really just an adventure. I don't think it is Han Solo, but it does have a very, very similar look. To Han Solo, maybe you could even say Indiana Jones has somewhat that look with the strap across there. Either way, pretty close resemblance to those characters. And so for that reason, it is a fan favorite. And then next up here, we have our female adventurer. At least that's what I think it is. She has the iron pickaxe, has the little flower in her hair. And this is really the only figure that I think we know for certain that it is a female. The other ones maybe could be under the spacesuit or whatever, under the creeper outfit. But this one is obviously a female. So uh, very collectible for that reason. And then here is our very last figure to look at with the gold sword. And this guy is awesome. Who do you think he looks like? Some people say he kind of looks like an alternate Boba Fett. So 
Kind of has some Boba Fett re resemblance, not necessarily the coloring, but just some of the shapes on the head and design on the torso and legs. And I would agree with that. Some people even call this Minecraft Lego pack the Star Wars pack, like just kind of like slang, shorten it so everyone knows which pack they're talking about between the two. So this is definitely though my favorite. Does it look like Boba Fett? I think it does a little bit, uh, but I like it just because it looks really cool. It's got the cool helmet, it looks like it's a metal helmet, and uh, just the markings and the colorings on it, I think are really cool. Even those orange hands, because orange that orange is actually one of my favorite colors. And so there you go, there's a final look on all four figures from this pack. Which one is your favorite? Mine, I've already said, the Boba Fett second one in. So there you have it. There's a look at both packs. Four in each pack. Retail price on these is $14.99. So when you include tax in that, your average price per figure is about $4. So that's pretty typical when we look at Lego across the board. So Minecraft fans, I think these are a lot of fun because yes, we get a lot of Minecraft Lego sets, but you're getting the typical figures in that. Steve, Alex, then you get all your mobs. This is the pack that gives you variety. So if you have some of those sets and you want to add variety, some different looks with some different skinned characters, you get to do that with this pack. And currently anyways, that's the only way that you can get some variety to your figures. So for that reason, I like it even at $15. So I want to thank you guys all for watching. I have been your host, Jason, and you have been watching Total Toys TV.